Hi everyone, my name is Emily Gordon and I am a MPH graduate and CPH certified, which is a certified in public health exam. And I just wanted to take some time today to talk about two experiences that I had in grad school that kind of exemplify the versatility of the public health field. The first is my time as the social media communications intern for the Terra Project. And the Terra Project is a nonprofit organization that was funded by two Rollins alumni in the greater Atlanta area. And they provide education, financial, and some skill building resources for women and children in a local Kenyan community. And what I did in that role with the Terra Project was plan and coordinate a few social media posts throughout the year that really highlighted the projects of the Terra Project and different programs that they had, as well as fundraising opportunities that they had throughout the year. So I worked with Facebook and Twitter primarily, but also had the opportunity to write a blog about World Yoga Day, in which Terra Project was the beneficiary of any fundraising efforts that came out of that day. So it was really important, not only that our content was correct, but also that we had a following that would really help us promote the event or any of the content that we put out. Um, and for me, it was really important to see that and have that experience because I saw how important social media was for promoting and sharing public health education, especially in this content context because a lot of the fundraising efforts of the Terra Project are really grassroots led through the Atlanta community and individuals that had a relationship with the Terra Project already. So it was really exciting to see how that social media influence could grow and also promote our project that we were working on. The second experience that I had was working with health organizations of Latin America. So in that role, I was the community outreach coordinator and I got to work with a bunch of different organizations in the greater Atlanta area, all striving to work in Latino health um, and promoting Latino health. And one organization I worked with was El Refugio Ministry, which is a outreach organization for individuals who are in the Stewart Detainment Detention Center, which is the largest detention center for immigration in the Southeast United States. Um, and what I did working for them was really provide them with a bunch of connections and liaisons throughout the greater Atlanta area. So I helped get them students at Rollins and other organizations at Emory, but also other schools at Emory. And um, we actually had a very large influx of undergraduate students who were interested in helping out. So I helped them stay in connection with the undergraduate students and really set up different times where they could go down to Stewart Detention Center and either talk to detainees and find out what they need and what kind of help they would need while they're in the detention center or just help around the house um, and get things prepared for any visitors that were coming for the weekend. I also had the opportunity to get El Refugio in touch with other organizations that were working with any legal issues or human rights issues. Um, so starting some human rights campaigns, there were a few marches that El Refugio ended up becoming a part of, um, and also some pro bono work for any detainees that did not have legal representation when they were supposed to go to court. Um, so in that role, it was really exciting for me to see how many different organizations and individuals in the Atlanta area were really striving to help with the immigration issues and some of the human rights issues that were going on in Atlanta, and really be a voice for these detainees that may not have had any resource or any contact with you, um, other human individuals until they were deported back to their home country or got to leave Stewart in another fashion. Um, and really both of those experiences, I think, define how interdisciplinary public health is um, because you can have people in all kinds of different fields working for the same mission. And in this case, there were individuals in communications and individuals in human rights and individuals in legal resources. Um, and in the end, they all came together for similar motives, whether that be for international education, which was with the Terra Project, or human rights and immigration, which is what I did with El Refugio. But combined, I think both experiences were really influential for me for what I do in the public health field now. And I think as a student, it really should let, shed some light on how much is going on in public health, even if it is not labeled public health. Um, but you can find more about both organizations I worked for in the description. 
as well as thisispublichealth.org, which is a great resource for learning more about public health and what people are doing in the public health world. And if you are interested in graduate school, you can head to ASPPH.org and search for some schools and programs that might focus or have programs in your area of study. Um, another great resource is Profiles in Public Health, where you can learn what current graduate students and recent grads are doing in public health.